No, the Scrat can never win. <laughs> That's what's fun about him is like is watching him try. <laughs> there has been no master plan in terms of the Ice Age film. We take each one as its own story. Um, but they all root back to the same thing. They're all really about the, the core herd and uh, they all have a lot of heart. And this one reaches back to the first movie in a gag where as the guys were kind of walking through a little, you know, a frozen ice museum, there was a UFO encased in, uh, in ice. And so, you know, Laurie Forte, our producer, said, you know, we should really do something with that joke. Maybe there's like a bigger story we can tell. And, uh, and it just kind of went from there and, and became this you know, huge, fantastic adventure where the Scrat takes it out into the cosmos and causes huge problems for, uh, for the Earth. We are really getting away in this movie from just ice and snow. We've got a whole palette in, you know, taking the scrat into the cosmos in this movie. So that's that's the big that's the big new um, world for him. And then we have this great colorful world of Geotopia, um, with all new characters and inhabitants of that world. And so we're doing a lot of different things with this movie. But at the core of the movie, we still have our characters' um, emotional stories and personal stories set against the backdrop of a much bigger idea. You're the wind beneath my fleas, the algae of my eye. I'm getting butterflies. I'm getting nauseous. The entire history of the franchise, he's never found a, a true love. He's never, you know, gotten a girlfriend. And so <laughs> he, she's gonna be the first girlfriend that Sid's ever gonna get. And of course she's perfect. She's like beyond what Sid could really get, but except <laughs> she loves him for all that he is, all his goofiness, this, you know, he's a little disgusting in this, but she loves everything <laughs> about him. And so it really is true love uh, for both of them. And in that way, you know, having worked with Sid as an animator, it's really satisfying and gratifying to finally see one of the good guys win. Because he's such a good guy, he's got yeah. a good heart. And like, yes, you know, he finally gets one. That's, that's great. <laughs> I'm really happy for him. And Scrat, he's this troublemaker. Everything he touches gets destroyed. Is there a possibility that we will ever see him do something right, do something clever, maybe even save the day? Hmm, you know, we've thought of that, but it doesn't feel like it's in his character. But you know <laughs> what? You never know. We don't know. We really don't know what he's got up his sleeve, but it's very possible that maybe one day he will do something right. It might go against his character to do that, so it would have to be the right, very right thing. No, the Scrat can never win. <laughs> That's what's fun about him is like is watching him try. Um, it's you know he's he's sort of I think the everyman. Everyone can can relate to him. Basically. But he will always persevere. He will yeah. always try. He'll always That's try. That's the best part about him. He won't yeah. give up. Yeah. I mean, it's probably hard to say right now, but there is a fifth movie. Could there be a sixth and seventh and? We do one movie at a time, and I think the audience, you know, if the audience is interested, or if the audience loves the movie and wants to see more, I think that's very possible that there could be more. I know I have more ideas, so possibly, who knows? Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 